it is y'all I'm hurting y'all because I want to be loved I want marriage you know a lot of us get on here we act tough and we be like I don't want a man I don't need a man but I want um it's Wednesday and I was just thinking because I'm about to go into work I might quit my job today you know because like why not right so let me know if you think i should um if i and i'm bipolar i know i know i want to quit my job like every other day i know i'd be saying that um so if my boss sees this and i don't quit today i'm just kidding i just want to know when men being up do they know that they be up you know like, do they know they gonna up? That's what I want to know. And if you do, why you keep doing it for? Why you keep doing it? Because I just would like to know if y'all are making the conscious decision to piss me the off. You know? So, let me know. Do y'all know? Do y'all realize it? Do you realize the manner in which y'all beef up? And pissing me off. Or are y'all like helpless little puppy type? The answer to this would really change everything for me. Lord, please, Lord, Jesus, the, the higher man, anybody. Like, I am praying. Can you send me a man? Like, <laughs> I am tired of doing this shit by myself. I am fucking stressed. I need me a good, hard working, faithful, loving, intelligent, black, you know, just a good man to help me and to love me. Cause damn, a bitch is fucking tired. I'm tired of being a strong black independent woman. A bitch is tired. I need somebody back to motherfucking lean on. A nigga to help me. Damn. To love me. What the fuck? This I'm just gonna say it and maybe I'm not even preaching to the choir and this is something that's just me but I am tired of being independent I am tired of being the hashtag girl boss 24 7 I like that I have independent qualities but constantly trying to fill the role of the independent strong woman is tiring or just being an independent strong person period and I know because I'm not only the eldest I'm the first generation American and first generation college student for my family this high standard that I have been trying to uphold constantly is draining me mentally emotionally and spiritually and even physically i quit at being independent i don't want to do this shit anymore this shit is draining i'm so ready to have a man come into my life and take care of me <laughs> my tires pop Two of my tires pop. I renuncio, ya no quiero ser independiente, ya, ya. I want to be spoiled and taken care of. Cause I don't have to, I shouldn't have to be stressing about shit like this. It's so complicated now. What kind of man are you looking for? I like tall, dark, handsome, God fearing man, provider, head of household, you know, like basic stuff. Well, yeah, that sounds like regular, normal stuff. Oh, can turn water to wine. What? Walk across water. 
can turn Super Saiyan God mode, can find all the Infinity Stones. And did I mention Well Endowed? Like, that joint got a whole type, you know what I mean? Key Las Vegas, 49, Pisces, security guard, 25 year old son. What kind of woman you looking for, boo? Uh, sugar mama. I don't care how old she is. And she got to pay for you. Obviously. When you're going out, who's paying for the dinner? She is. She is? Yeah. When you go out on the trips, she's paying for you and her. Yeah. yeah. I didn't did all that. I didn't did all that. It's time to flip it. They're giving me the red flags for you in the comment section, and then they're calling you a clown. Do you want to respond? What happened? To, what happened to equal rights? Gotcha. Gotcha. I thought men, men, men and women were equal. What happened to that? That don't exist. That's a fantasy, or it's only convenient for you at the time. It's convenient. Miss OnlyFans, Instagram pages, Miss Get a Buck for Five Seconds for Doing Nothing. I'm a man. I always have to provide. So even though I might be getting service or whatever, what you require from a man is is his basically his complete attention and damn near servitude. And you want that just for shit up. Force is strong. That ain't good enough. Do something. Earn my respect. I'm a prize too. You not the only prize. <laughs> you know, I harp on being independent and being my own provider. But the thing is, I'm independent and I'm my own provider because I have to be. Because I don't got mommy and daddy and my family to help me. I don't got nobody to help me, all right? So I gotta be stuck in this like masculine energy and I'm like, I have to be, and you know, it's amazing in this time and generation of inflation and just shitty generation in general that I'm able to do the things I do and take care of me and not have to rely on any other human being, never mind a man, right? But for the love of Christ, I just, I, I wish, I wish I just had a man just pop up and be like, yo, take a step back, woman, I got you. That was a great representation of a woman who discovered that men don't have it easier. Now she knows what men deal with. At least women have the choice to decide whether they want to have a partner they can rely on or if they want to do it all, but men don't have that option. I would like to make some points re I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. I've been divorced for three years, and in that three years, I have spent most of my days... Figuring out how I can become physically, mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough to be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math and it... It does not work out. I am not young enough or fertile enough or financially stable enough to even do another round of IVF and at 36 like I'm sorry, like, you're gonna say, like, you have time, like, I don't. Because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work. When I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources or the community. And it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex-husband that were viable. And they're just gone now. And my future... 
my future with those children. And my life as a mother is just, it's gone. And it's not just that it's gone, it's the fact that it was decided for me. By so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me. Because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. And I'm heartbroken. I just want to go on record to say that I am no longer a part of the Miss Independent Don't Need a Man community. <laughs> <laughs> I am embracing my femininity uh -huh. and allowing the space for my man to bring his masculinity because, child, I'm tired. Yeah, now you're tired. Now you want to, a man to act like a man, huh? Please pay attention. I said, do you want a guy that's going to be monogamous, you? Yes. A provider? Yeah. A protector? Yes. Your emotional rock? Yes. You want a traditional man? Yeah, I do. Are you a traditional woman? Uh, mm. I, I am. No, you're not. You got only fans. Mm. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Nope. <laughs> I mean, but that's not, but that's not yeah. my only source of income. Yeah, I have many sources. That's that's irrelevant. You're like, still not only a traditional woman. It's not my career. It's one of my incomes, okay. but it's not my career. It's irrelevant because you're still not a traditional woman, but you want a traditional man in return. You're a damaged goods lady. So this is the Mitchell Report, where we tackle some of the hottest topics in the world of sports. And did you guys hear about the story of this cheerleader who got ejected after an on-court altercation with a college basketball player? I'm going through this story. <laughs> man like comment and subscribe let's get right into this so mississippi valley state and alabama amu they were tied at 63 with just over three minutes left to play in their conference game following two made free throws but on the inbounds pass alabama amm amm's dalen smith i believe is his name got a bit too close to a cheerleader while she was trying to do a stunt on the baseline it appeared that Smith made contact with the cheerleader who immediately looked back to see who had hit her. And she didn't forget it. When Mississippi Valley State took the ball back down the court and the whistle from a referee had stopped the play, she walked on the court and confronted the player that she had got tangled up with. I think I'm a catch. Like, I'm successful in my career. I can hold my own. I'm financially independent. I have a great family. I have a good personality. I'm attractive. I'm, I had all this confidence. So I was like, why the fuck am I getting rejected? And what I realized through therapy and some of the people that I had spoken to was that I was just too much in my masculine energy. Naturally, I just have more masculine energy just based on how I was raised. I only have brothers. I had a lot of male energy around me growing up. I run two businesses. So every day I'm in that leadership mind. I'm in that, you know, like not harsh mindset, but very like masculine. So like, you know, leading, very driven, very ambitious, all that type of stuff. And what was happening was I was bringing that masculine energy into my dating world and into I guess relationships and it was coming off to men I was that girl that was like I don't need a man and you know if he doesn't like me for me then that's his problem and I'm not going to change and he needs to accept me for me and blah 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 and there was something that my ex had said to me when we were breaking up that really really stuck with me and it was you're too independent and I was always like what the fuck do you mean? Like, isn't that a good thing? Like, don't you want to be with a girl who is not, you know, depending on you financially or depending on you for everything? And isn't that attractive that you're with someone who can like hold their own? But what I realized is that men want to be with a woman who they feel they're needed by. So that doesn't necessarily mean financially or anything like that, but like they want to be with someone where they're the leader in the relationship they're making the decisions they're caring for someone because that's just naturally in them so for me i had to rewire my brain of thinking that just because i was letting a man care for me um and that i was going to be more feminine that that wasn't weak or that i wasn't still independent modern strong independent women are now feeling overwhelmed by the reality of managing their lives independently
realizing that their perceived strength and independence have left them feeling isolated and stressed. Feminism may have blinded them to the importance of recognizing and fulfilling their own needs, leading to feelings of loneliness and exhaustion. A shift from absolute independence to a more balanced understanding of interdependence might be necessary for finding fulfillment and peace. Many women regret not having a baby naturally, a common sentiment among modern women who waste fertile years and rely on technology for reproduction. Athletes often get injured during play, but their tactics of creating conflict with men are becoming less effective as men are increasingly aware of these tactics. Authenticity is more likely to earn respect and understanding, so it is essential to address genuine issues sincerely rather than resorting to theatrics. And that concludes today's discussion on MegTow Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.